Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back, Patrick here. And in this next video, what we gotta do, we gotta take each of these expressions here, we have to evaluate them without a calculator. So we're gonna get some practice dealing with permutations. Notice there's a bunch of permutations here. And we're gonna do it without a calculator. So number one, we got 10 factorial over seven factorial times three factorial. So the way you can rewrite this is 10 factorial is what? It's 10 times nine times eight times seven times six dot 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 times five times four times three times two times one like that. Right? That's what the numerator is going to be. And then the denominator 7 factorial, now I'm going to put this in a square bracket. This dot here, by the way, is multiplying these two. So we got 7 factorial times 3 factorial. So 7 factorial, which I'll put in this square bracket, it's going to be 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then 3 factorial, it's just going to be 3 times 2 times 1 like that. So multiplying everything here, multiplying everything up top. And then from here what you can do is you can look for things you can cancel out. Now notice here we're multiplying 7, 6, all the way to 1. So notice here we're doing the same thing. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we can cancel out this whole bracket and this portion right there. Okay, and then what we have, a lot nicer, we got 10 times 9 times 8. And then over here we got 3 times 2 times 1. We could even just ignore the 1, so we could just put 3 times 2 like that. So even from here without a calculator, you can just do this. You can multiply, get the numerator, denominator, simplify. But if you want to simplify a little bit more before multiplying everything out, notice that 2 can go into 8 four times, and then 3 can go into 9 three times. Or we could have also made 2 go into 10 five times. You have to pick one of these for the 2, either the 10 or the 8. And then notice we end up with 1 in the denominator, so really it's just the numerator. We have to multiply out 10 times 3, which is 30, times 4, which is 120, like that. All right, so that's one way to go about it. It's a more manual way. Another way you can do this, uh, we're gonna actually, this way I'm gonna show you, we're gonna have to do for number four. Notice number four, it's a lot more complex than these. Another way to do it is you can sort of factor things out. So if I got 10 factorial, that's equal to 10 times nine times eight times seven, um, times six dot 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 times two times one. What we can do is we can factor out, notice there's a seven factorial here, we can actually factor out a seven factorial from this. Okay, because it's like Let's say we got A, B, C. We're multiplying these three, A times B times C. Well, we can like take out a C and still be multiplying these two, okay? Because they're multiplying, these are basically the same. You're just rearranging the order. So what we can do is we can actually rewrite 10 factorial as we can take out seven factorial which would be the seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. So we would take all of this out. And what would we be left with? 10 times nine times eight, like that. Right? So then what would happen? So this would be the numerator still over that denominator of seven factorial times 3 factorial, and then notice the 7 factorials can cancel out. And we'd be left with 10 times 9 times 8 all over 3 factorial, which was the 3 times 2 times 1. And then we can simplify that. 
So you can do that. We can sort of uh, factor permutations, factorials, as I like to call it. And you can do it with anything. You didn't have to do seven. The reason why I factored out a seven factorial is because we wanted to cancel out with this seven. But if we factored out an eight factorial, we'd be left with 10 times nine. Or if we factored out a six factorial, we'd be left with 10 times nine times eight times seven. So that's a quicker way to go about it if you don't want to manually write everything out. All right, so whichever way you do it, answer to uh, number one is 120. Number two, 10 factorial over six factorial times four factorial times two. I'm going to do it that factoring way. So I'm gonna take out in the numerator that's six factorial so we could cancel out with this one. So six to one is taken care of. What's left, we had the 10, the nine, the eight, the seven. So 10 factorial and this are exactly the same thing. This is gonna be all over six factorial. These actually cancel out. Then we'd be left with four factorial times two, the four factorial, I'm just gonna write out fully. Uh, and then the one, we don't have to write that, but then we have this multiplying two, that's just its own value right there. It's not two factorial, it's just a two by itself. So four factorial, four times three times two times one, I ignored the one, doesn't make a difference. And then we got the two at the end. And so from here, uh, we can simplify again. So notice four goes into eight twice. We're left with a one here. And then notice that this two can cancel out with one of these twos. And then notice three goes into nine, three times. Two goes into 10, five times like that. There's a one left here. So what would we have? Five times three, which is 15, times seven, which gives us 105, like that. So that's what the answer would be to number two. Number three, 22 factorial over 19 factorial times 11. So again, I'm gonna factor out a 19 factorial from the 22 factorial. So we would have, let's actually put it in order this time. Usually it should be, I just realized I wasn't doing that above there. The nicer way to write this is the 10 factorial should be 10 times nine times eight times seven times six factorial, just to keep it in a nice order. I was sort of putting it in front just to show that it's gonna cancel out. But usually the nicer way it's shown is, uh, is writing it out in order. So we'd have 22 times 21 times 20 times, um, 19 factorial, all over 19 factorial times 11. 11 is just by itself. So notice this cancels out. 11 goes into 22 twice. Two times 21 is 42 times 20 gives us 840. So that ends up being the answer to number three.